Good morning. Thanks for your patience. So let's go for a simple two questions that we have here today for representing the illuminance and uh, actually illuminance for both of them, but considering the illuminance inside the building or outside that you want to uh, have, I think, in the assignment also. Let's have a look to the first question that we have here. Okay. Assess downlight uh, in a setting has the intensity distribution tabulated in the below figure. So we have the intensity distribution for any angle. So you can see the data here uh, for the downside, uh, downlight that we have in the figure on the right side. So we are looking for finding the illuminance at different points, O, P, and Q. So um, we have the height between the lamp and the ground surface that we are looking for. It's gonna be a work plane or any other type of, type of the surface that you want to consider, um, but uh, the use of the intensity to find the illuminance goes for by using the equation that we have for this season is the kind of the illuminance that we are looking for uh, as a relationship with the intensity and the distance, direct distance that it has. Mm, let me, okay, like this. And the cosine alpha, the alpha is the receiving angle that we have here. So for example, if you have some how oh, a shape of the line, if I have here to draw, maybe I don't have it. So it's gonna be a straight line, for example, until here that we have to consider. Okay, so this is the receiving for the point P, for example, and then the angle that it has with the perpendicular alignment of the surface or normal vector of the surface. So it's the alpha that you are looking for. Okay. So in this case, uh, due to the being parallel situation of the wall plane or ground and the ceiling, and also uh, having down light, so we can see that the theta and alpha are equal to each other. But in some other cases, it's not that we can consider it in the next question. But the, the formula that you have for the illuminance uh, can consider for the theta that you can see that alpha and theta are equal to each other. But first you have to find the D and the D is the distance. Um, let me show you in a different color. The distance between the light and this blue line and the point that you are looking for. So whatever it is, we can replace uh, this inside the formula and we can have I above the H cosine theta, um, alpha or theta is better that I write theta for avoid confusion for you. And it's gonna be a square. So you can simplify it in the way that's right I cosine theta above edge. And the edge is the height of the lamp until the perpendicular alignment until the surface that you're looking for. So that we have here as a 10 meter. So for the point O, that is exactly under the downlight. So the situation that we have here is uh, the theta is zero. 
because it's a total perpendicular situation between the uh, down light and the point O. So in this case, we know that the H is 10, that's right. It's not a big issue, but uh, we know that the alpha is equal to theta and both are zero here. So you can go and replace it in the, in the formula that you found here, simplified actually here. And uh, as a result, you can find the E is equal to um, 5,000 above 100. Cosine zero, oh, sorry, cosine zero cube, and it's gonna give you 50 lux. 50 lux, okay. So this is uh, the lux that we're receiving of the light that we have at point O. So the same pressure that we go forward for the rest of the points that we are looking for. The point P, you know the edge, the value of the edge, just uh, we go for the theta, and, and the theta goes to be 11.3 degrees. And it's just possible to, by solving the tangent uh, of the theta, I mean, at the tangent of the theta, the tangent of the theta for point P, at point P, okay, is, equal to two above 10, is it gonna be one fifth? And then um, the arc tangent of that one gives you this angle, the theta 11.3. Um, I hope so, just can test the calculation again. Uh, but uh, this is the way that you can find the theta. The theta and alpha is, are equal to each other. Now you have a theta here as 11, Point three, you can go back uh, again to the table uh, and find the angle over there. For the previous one, for the point O, the angle was zero and it's very, it was very straightforward because we had the intensity exactly over there. But um, for the theta 11.3, it, it's somewhere between the 10 and 15. So some location here that you can find it. So we, by doing the interpolation, in this table between the 10 and 15 and the values that you have 4,000, 3,000, it can give you the I uh, around um, 3,740. So by having this I, you can go to the equation, the main equation that you have for the illuminance and find the illuminance as you have 35 lux, okay. And for point Q, the same situation that you have, you have to just find the uh, tangent theta to find the theta, and then uh, it can give you theta alpha equal to 21.8 degree. Again, for this, uh, a specific angle that you have, you have to go between the 20 and 25 values that given in the table and find the 21.8 to see what's the value here for the intensity. And it, it gives you the intensity like this one, the intensity gives you uh, 2000, uh, no, more than 2000, mm, sorry. It's, let me, I write the interpolation to see you, am I right or not? 2000 minus 1.8 above five, and this is 1500 this, uh, difference between them. So it can give you 1460. Okay, so this is the candela that you have for the intensity. Then if you use this I in the equation of the E, you can find the E is 
12 blocks. And based on the concept that uh, we go further from the downlight, so we have less um, actually illuminance, so it is correct. You can see that uh, the first one that is under that was 50 lux, and then the second one goes for 35, and then the third one goes 12 lux. Just gonna be the light gonna be disappeared at this time. Do you have any question? Uh, one question. Yes. Uh, do we have to convert the the five thousand with four pi, or we don't need to do that because it's uh, no, no. It's the exact no. value for the intensity that you have to use it, and the unit is candle. Because in the assignment, I think it was candles over meter square. So I think um, we had to convert with four pi, or we didn't need to convert. Based on the quantity of the diffusion that you had for the, that surface, you have to consider it. Uh, let's, uh, I explain that one at the end, but uh, in the assignment, because the question was different, so. Uh, no problem, because it, uh, okay. it was giving CD over meter square in the table. So I think we had to convert with four pi, but I'm not, I'm not sure. Yeah, I think so, yes. Okay, okay, no problem. No problem. Okay, mm, so let's go for the next one. Okay, the second one uh, is a kind of interesting and very common in lightings that you have. Um, it said that the, there is a figure that you can see here but, um, on the at the bottom right. We have the length of the QR. There's going to be, I think, if I am correct here, it's mentioned 30 meter, but let me check. I think it, we reduced that one. Okay, it's not 30 meter, it's uh, 10 meter. Yeah, consider them 10 meters because we reduced the values. Okay, 10 meters and okay, like this. So this is the 10 meter because you can see also in the photo. So we have the distance uh, from the installation point of the light O until the first point of the court that we are looking for. It's a bad meter court, but actually it's not because it's larger than that one, but uh, you can consider it as a simple court. But the, any um, we have two edges, Q and R. So the distance between the Q and the installation point of the light is five meter that is given. And also we have the length between the Q until R. But the question looks for, uh, oh, we have also the height of the lamp, yeah, for 10 meter. Uh, intensity data for the lamp exists in the candle power diagram. So this is the candle power diagram for the intensity of the lamp. And uh, it has that at what point P should locate the center of the lamp to provide the equal horizontal illuminance at Q1 and R. And you can see here, uh, the shape of the candle power is very, very uh, concentrated on the center and uh, limited based on the angle that you have here. You see the maximum coverage that it has is uh, 30 degrees. So um, it has a uh, severe impact uh, by turning this uh, light um, go up and down like that one. So um, in case that we want to have the equal horizontal illuminance Q and R, you need to measure like, E at both point Q and R, but we need to have the equal E at these points. So it's a kind of a proportion for the intensity that we have for these points, because the, the rest is belongs to the angles. So we have to go for the intensity to find the intensity at that point. And it's a kind of the trial and error that we have to go forward to see 
what is the best angle that we can provide it here as a center point of the P. And maybe the, the shape of the lamp is not the proper enough to represent the situation, but it's gonna be something like this one. You know? This is the lamp that we have, okay? So, um, yeah, we are looking for the illuminance at this point. But the first step, let's go with the first step to see uh, what we have here is about the surface that we have. Let's go for the surface because it's a clear, it's, uh, it's a clear because the surface of the ground that we have here is fixed. Uh, and we can go for measuring the, we call it beta here, but you can say, because uh, we have we use alpha here in this part, so we use beta for this angle. It's better to avoid confusion. And uh, typically you use alpha for this one, but here we want to consider the beta. So this is the beta Q, uh, beta oh, not Q, sorry, this is the beta R, uh, and uh, these are the beta P, for example, beta R, and this is beta Q, okay? So for the beta Q, the first one for the green point, so we can say that this is a beta, beta, I'm still not friendly with drawing. I prefer blackboards, but uh, beta Q, and then, um, we can see that uh, in this diagram is a kind of the triangle triangle that we have for this beta and by going for the tangent you can say okay this is the equal to tangent minus one of five over ten this is the five that you have here and the ten is the height of the lamp that you can consider in a triangle here this triangle gives you this relationship this ratio and then it, you can find this angle as 26.6 degrees okay for the beta R is a similar situation. We have larger triangle and you can see one side is five meter and another side, uh, sorry, uh, here is a 10 meter. So, okay, so one 10 meter, one five meter. So for the beta R, you can see that we have same situation, but with the different sizes. So it's gonna be 15 over 10 as the height of the lamp and the angle gonna be 56.3. So for, if you want to have the situation that we have the same illuminance as Q and R, so we know that the E, R, e is I uh, here cosine beta. Uh, above D2, and we are looking to have the EQ be equal to ER. So let's write the equation that we had, and uh, we can say IQ cosine 26.6 above IR cosine. 56.3 above, okay. The D for the Q point is the, let me use a different color. Okay, uh, is this length, okay. So is the hypotenuse of the tri triangle that you have. So you can write it as uh, 10 square plus five square. Uh, it's a Py Pythagorean theorem. And then uh, for the R is a similar situation. So 10 power two plus 15 power two. It's kind of the triangle that you have here is, mm, let me show you for this one is better that I show like this one. And this, this is a triangle that you have here to find a, red line, so one side is five, one side 10. So by using the theorem, you can find the length of the red line. So what it gives to you is, you see that you have all values here, except the intensity at Q and R. 
So we are looking for the proportion between the Q and R. So this IR of IQ is 4.2. So you have the proportion between them and then you are looking for having P at a location that you can reach to this proportion. This is your target that you are looking for. So you have to go by a trial and error method to find uh, at the which location of the P you can have this situation for R and Q. So by this way, you can uh, start, for example, consider it at the beginning of that the P is at the center of this length, that this length is 10 meters. So the center of them is kind of the five meters from each side. So this is the first assumption that you have for your trial. And then uh, let's see what's gonna be the result. Mm, I just don't want to, I have to erase some parts here to show, to reduce the area. Okay, let's uh, copy this. Okay, now we consider P as a mid side, midpoint of the Q and R, then go for alpha Q and see what's the alpha Q now, alpha Q. So alpha Q, uh, alpha Q is this that we are looking for. Yeah, it's the kind of time minus one of 10 over 10. Yeah, you can see the triangle. Now this side is 10 and then the height is 10 also, but minus the interior one, this uh, green one that you had here, this, this one that I had, okay, we want to eliminate this one. So we have to say, okay, time minus one, five over 10. So in this way, you eliminated this um, red hat triangle to have the exact portion that you are looking for at the other side. And it gives uh, you the alpha equal to 18.4 degree, okay? For alpha R, same procedure, just considering the you know, what area that you are looking for, and you can see this is a ton minus one, 15 over 10. There's a kind of the, uh, full length that you have here. That's, um, let me just erase them, okay. Full length, that means between here to here, that is 15, okay. And the height is 10. But uh, what else you have to do is minus the ton minus one of 10 over 10. And the 10 over 10 is the part that you have here that you have to eliminate it, okay? So it gives you the angle 11.3 degree. Okay, just hold on. Okay, just a moment that I prepare something and Okay. Uh, 11.3 that I said, okay, I was here. So we found the uh, alpha Q and alpha R. Now we go for the measuring the intensity because we have the alpha. So is the intensity is uh, uh, for the Q is 900 or is that? 
gives the intensity of Q as 900 candela, and then for the R200, uh, 2100. So this intensity is has a proportion for IR IQ as equal to 2.3. And you can see it's not equal or close to the 4.2 that you had here, okay, as your target. So the midpoint does not provide the sufficient illuminance at R or Q. Let's try to go alpha, but you can see that this is less, uh, less than 4.2. That means we have less intensity at R. And if we have more intensity at R, that means shift intensity from Q to R to increase this proportion, if we can reach to 4.2. Uh, that's the reason. For the second trial, we tried to have larger angle for the alpha Q. That means move P instead of the center point to the right side to make it closer to R. So that's the reason that we are looking for this part. And uh, let me erase all them. Okay. And then here you can see by try to tear. Uh, well, how can I say? Two thirds of ten meter from Q four point I four, so four point P. So P locate at. Twelve meter far away of the O. Twelve meter from O. Okay. Just uh, yeah. There is a question that. Uh, Okay, for the plotting on the curve, yeah, let me, before going for the next one, or maybe I can explain it on the next one is same situation that we have for the previous one, because uh, I forgot to show you on the candle power that how you can find 900 and 2100. But uh, let's go for the second one. You now in this one is the same situation. So if your alpha is uh, uh, alpha Q at this point, when we consider this situation is 22.8 and alpha R is 6.9. So now you can go to the candle bubble to see uh, where it's go for. It's a kind of the approximation that you have to do in this case, but the, uh, you need to identify what's the um, value close that what we are looking for. So for the 22 uh, degree, you can see that this is the 30 degrees that we have here. So you can distribute it by the, um, to find uh, where is the 22. And then this one gonna be a 20. So you can use that one and to see where it's go from to by connecting the line to the center point of the diagram. And uh, then it can give you the value for uh, uh, intensity at this point. It's, it's going to be around something. I'm not precise enough for drawing, but um, yeah, it's going to, if you go a little bit more here, because it was 22. And you know, my tool for drawing is not perfect, but. It, it touched the diagram, the, uh, the this area. Okay, it touched it at some point here. Some point at here, actually. Okay, oh, not not here. Okay, even I draw here, but it moves to another point. <laughs> Somewhere here. Okay, it has been down. So um, the value can be 
approximately something less than 700 that you have here. So we can consider 600 for the I at Q. And uh, for the R, it is 6.9. So we can see the 6.9 where the location of the 6.9 that we have. And uh, this is 10. So we can see, okay, the 6.9 should be, oh, let me change the color. 6.9 somewhere here. Okay. So you have to connect the line, try to use the ruler, not like I did, at least uh, it can give you better result. And uh, the edge of the actually purple area should be um, cutted by this line at the point here. Okay, somewhere here. And uh, this is the way that you have to identify where. Uh, it, it, there is an intersection between these lines and that's the point that gives you the value that you are looking for, for the intensity. And the intensity here for this one between the two, 2100 and 2800 should be some approximation between them. And um, you can see that this is more than middle value. So we have 700 difference. And so consider we have uh, maybe 400 more than 2100, so you can consider 260 and 2600 or maybe 2500. So let's go for IR as the 2600 here. You can see it's close to the 2800, but not precisely. So this is a kind of approximation. And the method that you use is important, not the value here, because in reality, you have to be more precise for just using the candle power can use other tables and other information that you have. But uh, this IR and IQ gives and give you a proportion for uh, IR, IQ that you are look, oh, I think we are outside of the area. So let's be by this one. Okay, uh, IR. IQ is equal to 600 above 2600. That is 4.3. So 4.3 is a bit larger than 4.2, but it's approved because it's close. It's not too much different. Um, so this is the way to find the right uh, intensity and the right angle actually that you are looking for this form of the light that you have and now is the time that you find the illuminance and the illuminance uh, simply possible just by going through the formula now you have the alpha you have the intensity you can just uh, use the intensity inside the formula and it can give you that uh, in, for example, for the Q, you have 600 intensity and uh, cosine 266 is the beta that we have uh, above the 100 plus uh, 144 is a kind of a square of the 12, okay? Because uh, this is the distance that you considered here. And uh, it gives you 2.2 logs and for the next one. So for the R, we have the similar situation 2600 intensity that you find cosine 50.3 above 100 plus 22.5. It gives you 4.4 logs. So these are the illuminance that you are looking for uh, at Q and R. And, but first you try to find what's the best location for the P. And it's important for us because we need to consider it in our calculation. Uh, and then uh, you just find the illuminance.